welcome to another video so i'm out this morning you see it's dark i know it's dark you can't see me but yeah i wanted to just introduce it to my life this is the part nobody sees you know when you have to get up so early in the morning before everybody wake so wife kids sleeping we have to be up and out um so this is a side that nobody sees what i'm gonna do today is take you on a project with me in kingston so i have to be in kingston for 8 a.m it's now 5 a.m and i have to be in kingston for 8 a.m and then i have another meeting at 12 a.m at 12 noon and i just want to bring you guys along the journey with me to kind of show you what i do for a living so i hope you enjoy this video Traffic is ridiculous. Alright, so another reason when I miss Kingston. But it's now 7.30. I don't think we're gonna make it for eight. Um look at that. We're barely even moving.
So we're still in traffic on the boulevard. Just have to make a call to the client, tell them, say, yo, um, running a bit late because of the traffic. So meet and push back by half an hour um, and things. So yeah, just a part of the job. Guys, communication is key, you know. And you have to communicate um, when you're in a certain situation. Don't wait too late and make things first and get out of hand. So in a situation like this, you have a client that you're meeting at say 8 o'clock and then you buck up in some unexpected, I mean I expected traffic. I didn't expect that it would be this this bad because I haven't I haven't done this kind of traffic in a while but if 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 you end up in a situation like this you always have to remember say you have other people um that's trying to coordinate their day around your day as well so let's make a simple phone call you know call the client tell the client listen um on the boulevard stuck in traffic so I'm gonna be running a bit late simple as that get that out of the way don't be afraid to do that it's part of the job yep so we're finally here 8.36 uh, kinda took us three and a half hours to get here but we are here um, not bad timing but let's see how let's see how the day goes alright so we did this paving install some cameras and around the back here that's a paving build a stand for the water tank right here the paving should have to do some work underneath here pave out underneath what I mean so so we're building, building two big gate big doors to put underneath the stand so it's a water tank stand that we build here over this section it will be like a barbecue area so we're going to clad this out with bricks and make it look like it's made of bricks have a sink and a look a counter top right here so plumbing is in um, on the wall here we are doing some duct work so, on the top, did the counter top, did the sink, uh, just to put in the, um, the pipe, tie the backsplash, have the range wood, and finish these cabinets up top here raise a pantry and put in more cabinets above the fridge area right there yeah mm -hmm. but we're also installing this door see that our carpenters have great skill these are the side lights that go in alright guys so one meeting down um it's actually now 10 3. yeah it was a good meeting with the client so actually i need to reach um in trelawney by 12. so <laughs> i might end up being late for that meeting as well um again same story you just communicate it if it's if it's a problem things happen you know but it's how you communicate things that, that makes the difference. So one meeting down 
and after the next meeting yep see you soon so this is one of the not so healthy part about this job you literally have to eat and go food so first may I try this jerk chicken patty with the taste is never know them have that so just a try a patty right now and get moving again so yeah
medical advice as it relates to this this kind of life this kind of living so one of my goals for this year 2022 is to kind of see how best i can transition from active income into more passive income so i want to create more passive income stream So we are at the the next location. We are here. It's now 12:34. Yeah, I mean we're doing pretty well with the with the timing. I mean the same. It's again the traffic this morning has set us back by half hour. So um, we actually we heard from the client. Um, he's actually running late. So. Um, I guess we will we'll have to wait a little bit still so it's, I guess we're early we're late but we're early <laughs> yeah but um, so this is a, the, the, the final meeting for today um, let's see how this one goes hopefully I don't know if I can give you any footage during the meeting but I'll definitely show you some of the project and, and and show you what they are doing there so let's go all right guys so this is the project that we're working on it's a villa under renovation and see we demolish pretty much everything and building it back Yes, yes, all right. Kitchen. This is supposed to be stock. Quarters. Around the back. And here says I uh, open dining. And can hear there's another bedroom. This one. Okay. And on the back here. Swimming pool. That's a beer for that.
right guys so that's it for today it's been a long day it's now 4 31 12 long hours is that yeah 12 hours so i've been up from 4 30 this morning and it's now 4 31 um i gotta head home yeah so this this is really how my days are what i do on a daily basis and how how i get things done um if you haven't known already i am a quantity surveyor and uh, project manager um i own and operate a company uh, by the name of q estimates limited you can go and follow us on instagram so that's my second what do I call it now? second stream of income income and first would be my nine to five um, you know if 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 you guys are interested in me or us speaking about like um developing streams of income and building generational wealth and stuff like that um leave a comment down below, below and let us know um i think we have a lot we can share on that um so if, if you're interested in those topics um just let us know down below um as we have a lot we can share on that yeah so as i said this is my i, I don't want to call it side hustle at this point because it has well grown so much stuff over a short space of time that i'd have to just call it a second job because as you see it literally takes a lot of time to get done um yeah so that's that's basically what i do on a daily basis as a quantity surveyor and a project manager um as it relates to my wife shellyan she is owner operator of um the online english clinic so you can go on instagram and find her over there as well and she's also a, a author teacher and all of those lovely stuff um, the last book she wrote um, was a 24 hour revision guide for um, kids doing CSEC so if, if you guys know of anybody who is doing CSEC English um, they can get this book and, and as, as I said it's a 24 hour revision guidebook um, I'll leave a link down below you can just go on Amazon and purchase that um, yeah but these are some of the things we have to go through the, the sacrifice that we have to make you know it's not really easy doing two jobs um, but as granny used to say when we look if you want good you know have to run so um we have to do what we have to do so yeah that's it for today guys um if you like this video um don't forget like share comment subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so and until next time keep the dream alive see you later wait 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 hold on before we go away so i'm actively thinking of how i can serve or how i can provide my services skills and so on to you guys so i'm, I'm actively thinking of ways to do that um, if you guys have any suggestion um you can leave them down below in the comment section i'm curious to see what you guys suggest so that's it and i'm out see you later